Are we good to go? Hey everybody, what's up? This is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Barn Grilled. We are here today, July 1st, 2019. We are here to talk about a lot of awesomeness that is happening uh, at Melt Barn Grilled in July. We've got, and I know I say this all the time, but I think this could be, write this down, this could be the best features for a month that we've ever had in the history of the restaurant. We are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the firecracker chicken. We are bringing back the up and smoke melt. We've got a brand new maniacal macaroni and cheese on the menu. It is a, a summer veggie primavera. We've got the s'mores bread pudding that is here. Uh, we've got launching today, starting today, July 1st. Dun, 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 dun. We have vegan mac and cheese for all our vegan friends out there, even vegetarian friends out there. Lact lactose intolerant people out there. We've got vegan mac and cheese. We've been developing that recipe for several months. We rolled it out at Vegan Fest a couple months ago. Rave reviews. Took us a little while to put it together to get it on the menu, but it is here July 1st. Moving forward, we have an entire vegan macaroni and cheese menu. A lot of your classic favorites from our maniacal macaroni and cheese menu can and will be made vegan people. Get excited. So we're going to show you some of that stuff today. I'm going to step over here. We're gonna bring you, this is the 10th anniversary. The first time we rolled this out was July of 2009. It is July 2019, believe it or not. Melt is in its 13th year, but in the third year of Melt history, we started rolling out monthly features and the firecracker chicken was one of the first that we came up with because we actually started in March. So we had March, April, May, June, July. So the fifth ever feature that we did at Melt was the almighty firecracker chicken. A lot of those specials have come and go, come and gone, come and go, I guess, come and go, come and gone, but come and gone, but the firecracker chicken is one of the tried and trues, a staple on the summer menu at Melt Barn Grill that is back, it is back in July. This bad boy has changed slightly in the last couple years, but we actually upped the ante, upped the, the deliciousness it's got now deep fried chicken, so we batter fresh chicken breast, deep fry it, toss it in our very spicy Diablo sauce. It's on there with some cooling pineapple, grilled pineapple, avocados, pepper jack cheese, and cut fries in the back. This is pound for pound, one of my favorite sandwiches at Melt Barn Grilled. And 10th anniversary, like I said, for the firecracker chicken. It's here all month, all July. I'm probably gonna order one of these on my way out today. So get to Melt soon for that guy. Back. By popular man, the man, this is the up and smoke melt. I don't know if you remember a couple years back, we did a Facebook Live uh, feature. I think it was in August of 2017 when I was dressed up like a, uh, I had a mustache on and a ball cap. Um, we did a feature for a Smokey and the Bandits uh, movie that was playing at the Cedar Lee. And we came up with this totally smoked out melt. It was called the totally smoked out melt. We changed the, changed the name to the up and smoke melt. It has got boneless pork ribs that are slathered in our hickory barbecue sauce, a crunchy slaw, a, a uh, garlic pickles on here, smoked gouda, and we've got potato chips that are tossed in a spicy barbecue sauce. Very good sandwich. Got some kettle chips on the back right there. This is an awesome sandwich too. This is available all July 2019. So we've got two awesome sandwiches, two totally different flavor profiles, but equally delicious. You gotta come in and try them both. Bring a buddy, share, you can both order one. Hey, give me your half, I'll take your other half. You guys are know what we got going on next. We've got our maniacal macaroni and cheese menu. We talked about it earlier, the vegan versions. This is the feature that we're gonna be running all July. This is a new maniacal macaroni and cheese that we came up with. This is the summer primavera melt. Actually, I sampled this twice already when we, were, when we were rolling this thing out and trying it. It's chock full of awesome vegetables. <laughs> chock full of awesome vegetables. We've got a roast of broccoli. We've got tomatoes. We've got mushrooms. We've got onions in here. I know I'm missing something else, but we have a creamy gar What, you, Moosh? We got a, from the side, Moosh is here. We'll see her later, don't worry. She's the surprise ending, but she's blowing it. You're blowing it. Uh-huh, I know, she's blowing it. All right, so get in here, Primavera Mac is here all month. This is a Matt Fish approved as well. This is delicious. 
I would have to say this is probably one of my favorite mac and cheeses that we, whoa, we came up with so far on the menu. I have a feeling this mac and cheese is probably going to make the permanent menu someday soon. However, you can have a sneak preview of it all month. Come and see it. This is awesome, delicious, fantastic. Let's see what else we got. We got our features. We're doing side dishes. Again, remember I said at the beginning of this video that this is probably my favorite month. I think this is chock full of the best features that we have had in a very long time, if ever. Well, back by super popular demand, the cold watermelon salad. We've done this every July for the last couple years. It is gonna be here all summer for the next couple months. Fresh watermelon, cucumbers, red onions, feta cheese, a um, poppy seed, sweet poppy seed dressing that we make. This is awesome. This is summertime in a bowl. Very tasty, very good. I've already, we just rolled this out today and I've already had it twice. Twice today, that's how good it is. This guy is awesome. So we're gonna get back, talk about that later. Got some other stuff over here. I got, we have so many things to talk about today. We couldn't even put a fit it all on one table. Got our Kung Pao broccoli. This is a classic melt side dish. We do it often. It's one of the best, most popular side dishes that we offer. So we decided, let's bring it back for the summertime. Everyone's out and about. Everyone has a chance to get over to Melt for the next couple months. Kung Pao broccoli, fresh roasted broccoli, a spicy Kung Pao sauce that we make in-house, crushed peanuts. This thing is awesome. Great compliment to your sandwiches. Great compliment to the mac and cheese. This is a good one too. And we might as well talk about dessert now. We'll get back to some other stuff. But for July, we're bringing back the s'mores bread pudding, the campfire s'mores bread pudding. This is classic summertime flavors right here, guys. It was a nice, nice weekend. If you had a fire, you're roasting marshmallows, you're making s'mores at home. We're got all month. We got the s'mores bread pudding. We got a chocolate bread pudding. We've got a marshmallow fluff glaze that's on there. We've got crushed graham crackers powdered sugar, vanilla ice cream, uh, a fresh whipped cream. This guy's awesome. All right, so those are the features that we've got for July, and we brought a couple other things out I want to talk to you guys about. Remember I said the vegan mac and, or vegan mac and cheese? That's right, so we've got a couple of those I want to show you. <laughs> Bringing them in. I'm feeling like, oh, I'm crazy. So vegan mac, got a classic cheesy cheddar right here, 100% vegan. It's a vegan cheese sauce we're making in-house, panko breadcrumbs, cavatappi pasta, totally awesome, totally delicious. And we got a pesto chicken, believe it or not. This is pesto chicken, mac and cheese, totally 100% vegan. You got our cheddar cheese, vegan cheddar cheese cream sauce in here, vegan chicken, house-made pesto sauce, tomatoes, spinach, onions. This guy is awesome. And we've got a ton more vegan mac and cheese options on the menu starting today, July the 1st, 2019. Mark your calendars, people. They're gonna be talking about this for ages, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And one other new vegan item I wanted to mention today. Where else can you get awesome total plate of vegan nachos? Where else in Cleveland, where else in Ohio can you get this? A big old plate of chicken nachos right here. So. We have a barbecued beef nacho dish on the menu every day at Melt. We decided to make a vegan version, rolling out today, July 1st, because the vegan mac and cheese, we now have a vegan cheese sauce in-house to make our mac and cheese, so we are able to do a vegan version of our, uh-oh, tragedy has struck. We have, we're able to make a vegan version of our nachos. So we got vegan cheese sauce, our house-made barbecue sauce, jalapenos, roasted corn, our nacho chips, and vegan chicken on here. This guy is awesome. We've sampled this several times, delicious. I might actually take this home for dinner. Moosh might be eating this. I'm gonna put this down. You want some, want some, want some vegan nachos? She says yes. She says yes. A couple other things to talk about, then I'll let you guys go. So if you're coming over here, Jess, you can see this, this awesome poster we've got up here. I want to talk to you guys about the Pints for Parks program that we're doing. We're partnering with Breckenridge Brewing out of Colorado, one of our favorite breweries of all time. They make some classic beers, some delicious beers, and they now have some cool pint classes that we're going to be giving away. So Parks for Pints program essentially is Breckenridge has partnered up with the national parks around the country and they commissioned an artist out of, out of Colorado to design different pint classes 
for the national parks around the country. So there's 12 pine classes out there. We are celebrating the Cuyahoga National Valley Park, which is literally a stone's throw from where we're standing right now. We're in Independence, Ohio. But if you guys are from Northeast Ohio, even Southern Ohio, you should be familiar with the national parks that we have here in beautiful Ohio. But come in today. We've got limited edition pine glasses that we're giving away. All you gotta do is come in and purchase a, one of our Breckenridge beers. We're actually featuring the agave wheat beer on tap at all 10 melt locations right now. And these pint glasses are available. Um, come in and buy a pint of beer and get a pint glass. And these are really cool. I've got a couple of them at home already. They've got the killer Breckenridge logo on there. You can see the bridge going over the valley. You got some waterfalls in there. It's pretty slick, man. This is a really cool glass. They really outdid themselves this time. So thank you to Breckenridge. Killer people, killer beer. I'm a little parched, so I'm gonna take a sip of this killer beer. I wonder if I get to keep this pint glass. I don't know. I didn't purchase the beer. We use it for the video, but maybe I'll get to keep this. I don't know. I also want to show you guys, come on in here, Jess. We're gonna focus on some new cans that we've got rolling here today, too. We've been upgrading Upgrading, downgrading, sideways grading, and flipping completely upside down our, our entire beverage program at Melt Barn Grilled. So new draft list, new cans and bottles, new wine list, new signature cocktails coming soon. But I want to showcase some of the Ohio beers that we're featuring. We're doing a ton more beers in our coolers, and we're focusing primarily on all Ohio beers. So if you guys go down the line right here, you see Punk IPA, that's a brew dog from, um, from from Columbus, Ohio, actually from Scotland, and now they're brewing in Ohio. We've got Saucy Brewworks, our friends from Cleveland. Can't forget about Fat His right here, Bumbleberry, one of the best beers for the summertime. Our good buddies over at Market Garden, that Shandy, one of the best Shandies I think that I've ever had. They make an amazing Shandy. This Honey, honey Wheat right here from uh, North High Brewing down in Columbus, very good people. And then our good buddies over at Masthead, Falling Fruit. We, um, we, specializing our can and bottle cooler and with a lot of Ohio cans and bottles. So let's summarize our journey today together. It's been a long journey. We're running a little late today, I apologize. That's why I guess I'm having a beer because it's, it's been one of those days, people. So it's July. We've got awesome features here all month. I told you guys, 10 year anniversary for the Firecracker Chicken. So come in, celebrate the 10 year anniversary for the Firecracker Chicken. Up in smoke melt, super delicious, super awesome. The primavera mac and cheese, I'll probably be taking home for dinner tonight. The campfire s'mores bread pudding you guys know about, but the more importantly, not maybe not more importantly, but as important as all that stuff is the vegan mac and cheese that we're launching today. It's gonna be here hopefully till the end of time, so get here and try it. All my vegan friends out there, I know you've been looking forward to it. Vegetarian people, gluten, not, sorry, not gluten-free. We're working on some gluten-free stuff, but not quite yet. Pints for, Pints for Parks program through Breckenridge. And that's it. 